So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Karis LeVert. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Heald and Matherin at the two and the three. Pascal Siakam out there with Miles Turner. And it's Halliburton in at the point guard position. And for the Cavaliers, Mitchell and Okoro, they're the wings. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. And it's Garland in at the one. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. Here we go. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Heald against Mitchell. Outside Garland from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Rise and fire. I just love how assertive Garland is on offense. Halliburton against Garland. There's a screen by Turner. Pass to Heald. Just five on the clock. Siakam to three. He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to be Evan Mobley. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, 
shooting from themselves and their teammates. One thing about the Pacers, Clark, year in, year out, they compete. And you know, it doesn't matter who's on the roster. They can and will outwork most teams. Even the best teams can't afford a letdown against the Pacers. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Now Halliburton. First quarter of play, a minute in. The three. The Cavaliers pull it in. They went to Indianapolis for their last meeting with the Pacers. Came out with a victory. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. And you know what? If they run away with this game like they did in that one, I'd expect to see plenty of minutes again for the guys coming off the bench. And here's Siakam for three. The Pacers again can't hit. And so it's Mobley with it. He brings it up for Cleveland. Defeated by Detroit in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. <laughs> you hated to see anyone walk away the loser. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. Intelligent decision by Mitchell using the pick and roll to break up the defense and get open. Garland against Halliburton. Here's Turner. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the floor. Halliburton against Garland. Pass to Okoro. Mobley outside. And the Cavaliers, another three. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Halliburton for three. Donovan Mitchell with a board. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Oh, deflected. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Offensive rebound. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. A gritty play by Siakam. Absorbs the foul and still gets his shot to go. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Levert's checked in. Shooting more free throws as his career is going on, Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Garland scanning the floor. Here's Okoro. He's covered by Siakam. Garland for three. Matherin with a rebound. Indiana leading. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Matherin. Halliburton outside. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go. Indiana again missing. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Mitchell against Heald. And slammed at home, and a foul. A chance at another point at the line. That one on healed. What poise from Mitchell there. Taking the hit like a champ and finding a way to convert. Nice. Young season, young talent, Grant. What do you look for to identify an up-and-coming team with a chance to be special? Well, B.A., obviously, you have to start with talent. But then it's fit, it's identity, it's personality. I mean, all of those ingredients matter in becoming a top team. That shot by Halliburton, not easy. Taking the hit and still finishing the play. 
Pass to Allen. Levert goes against Matherin. Allen with a screen on Matherin. Levert. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Halliburton outside. Turner, a screen on Garland. Turner with it. Pass to Siakam. Beyond the arc. Nails it from three. Siakam's got ten. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. Halliburton against Garland. Outside Mitchell. Three-pointer. Matherin with a rebound. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. And here's Heald. Last game for him, he had 14. Pass to Matherin. An easy two on the layup. Not just a jump shooter now. Benedict Matherin can score from all three levels. Allen outside. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Sinks it from distance. Give him eight points now. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work. And it's paying off. Halliburton against Garland. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. Now Turner. Pass to Siakam. Halliburton for three. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Levert with the ball. Back to Garland. Here's Mitchell. Pacers with a rebound. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Here's Okoro, still without a bucket. Allen finds Garland. 4-3, and no good. For Indiana, they've got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Halliburton against Garland. Outside Matherin. Outside heel. Launches a three. Oh, planks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Trailing by two. Outside Mitchell. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Mitchell's got 10. And you pay so much attention to Garland, and that allows teammates to get involved. Indiana calls timeout. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Struess, he's checked in for Cleveland. Here's Nimhart in his last outing with 12 points. Picked by Smith. To win the drought. That one drops for him. And the Pacers lead by two. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Okoro. Yet to see a basket. Knocks it down from distance. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Pass to Neesmith from downtown. The rebound by Garland. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Oh, 
Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. El Coro passes to Allen. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move! He's got a chance for one more at the line. It's on T.J. McConnell. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Allen, no good on the free throw. Boy, you know, you look at the raw athleticism of Allen, very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Here's Levert. After the basket by Indiana. Allen a screen to the paint. And it's Allen who slams it home. You know, because Allen is so quick with his feet getting out of setting the screen, it makes him hard to guard in the pick and rolls. Nimhard, good. Nimhard's got his second basket. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Allen with a screen on McConnell. Garland finds the vert. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got three assists now in this one. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Here's Neesmith. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. On target from range. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. McConnell against Garland. With the drive. And that one drops. Garland's got his second bucket on the night. Body control so important to the success of the floater from Garland. Here's Nimhart, covered by Struess. Nimhart, the pass to McConnell. Clock at six. Pass to Nimhart. Here's Neesmith. Oh, got a piece of it. And now the Cavaliers on the break. Levert, that's good. And it's a four-point Cleveland lead. Boy, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Smith with a screen on Struess. Here's Nimhart, covered by Struess. Smith with a screen on Garland. McConnell from outside, and it's Niang with a rebound. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Pass to Garland. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. And he makes a first. Getting to the line more since his career has gone on, Garland, a deployable free throw shooter. For the Cavaliers. Thompson comes in for Jared Allen, and Donovan Mitchell is subbed in for Struess. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And talk about a team that's known for being unselfish, the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's part of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. Over to the wing, Nimhart. Knocks down the long J. Nimhart's got seven points in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Nia. Still no points. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Poke loose. Here's Levert. And that one is hammered home. Boy, Levert gets really good elevation when finishing. So smooth around the rim. Here's Nimhart. He's got seven. Now here's Levert. Pass to Niang. 
That one no good. Just a big time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He put together 10 points in the quarter. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. Indiana trailing here. On the court for the Pacers. Heald and Matherin at the two and the three. Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's Halliburton in at the point. Back to Siakam. The three. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. Cleveland has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Puts up the eight-footer. Grown man points from Donovan Mitchell. He's such a strong guy. Donovan Mitchell plays bigger than his listed 6'1 height. He'll screen on Levert. Here's Halliburton, and there's the rejection. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, Evan Mobley still is just scratching the surface, but already he is making his mark in the most important way. Coach Bickerstaff said he's a winner. Fourth quarter's big moments. He just finds a way to help finish ball games and to make the play. Evan just makes the right play to help us win, he said. Brian? Well, no doubt. He's a star on the rise, Ali. Thanks for that. Now here's Halliburton. 17 points for him. Last game against the Heat in Miami. Siakam, pass to Turner. Heald from outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. Leave it to Heal to respond. A consistent three-point sniper. And Mitchell puts up a deep three. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Pacers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. He'll find Siakam. The three ball. And counted. Now four for nine. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Struess's shot is off. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. And here's Turner from the arc. Heald passes to Halliburton. Down to five on the shot clock. There's a screen by Turner. 20 feet out. Stolen by Mitchell. Here's Levert. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. You know, guys, with good size and length for his position, Levert can convert tough baskets. When talking about Karis Levert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Grant. You know what, B.A.? You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. Cleveland calls timeout. And these are the top rebounders in the league. Fifth, Miles Turner. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. And the free throw, no good. Clark, it feels like we've reached the peak of this three-point explosion. What do you think the next trend in the NBA will be? You know, Brian, it's hard to say. I mean, perhaps we could land on the return of the center because we're already seeing that in the centers that are excelling and 
dominating the league and winning MVPs are in their prime. So perhaps we'll see teams get bigger and play more through their centers going forward. Oh, you got to guard Halliburton from there. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And then Turner with the dunk. No way Halliburton was going to sleep on that one. I mean, he's too good at reading the defense. Cleveland has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Pass to Allen. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. And the basket is good. Allen's got six points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Halliburton against Levert. Here's Siakam. Cavaliers with a rebound. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Pass to Okoro. Outside Struess. Just five on the clock. Off target from outside. Indiana's gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Siakam finds Halliburton. Outside heel. The three is up. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. That one on Mitchell. Heel so good at finding ways to get it in the hoop, regardless of who's defended. That free throw, no good. And the second straight year missing the playoffs for the Pacers, Clark. It seems things may be heading in the right direction, though. Exactly, B.A. Rick Carlisle led the team to more wins in the second year at the helm than the first season, which is a good sign, and they do have a nice four. No good on the second free throw. Everybody knows about how Buddy Heald is an incredible three-point threat. But what I love, here's a guy with a bunch of years playing 80 or more games. Love that durability. He's ready to go whenever they call his name. He manages to convert the third. The Cavaliers leading. Mitchell with the ball. He's got 12. Mitchell bullies his way inside. And the fans love it. And Mitchell certainly seems to be enjoying himself on the offensive end. Levert goes against Halliburton. Outside heel. This one for three. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got three assists tonight. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it's either a dunk or free throws every time. Turner finds Halliburton. Free throw line jumper. The rebound by Allen. Cleveland has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Mitchell against Heald. Back to Allen. Outside Struess. Let's the three fly. The Pacers pull it in. Siakam's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Halliburton. Siakam with a screen on Allen. Halliburton on the drive. And then Turner with the dunk. Oh, you can't let Turner get that deep inside. When you do, he's going to abuse you with a throwdown right on top of your head. Cleveland timeout, calls timeout. timeout. 
At the 2023 three-point contest, Tyrese Halliburton made an impressive showing, Grant. You know, he did, B.A., but sadly he wasn't able to win the contest, but he did manage to tie the record for most points in a round. So his efficiency can't be questioned. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Levert. First in steals, second in assist, and they are in the top five in fewest turnovers. They handle the rock with care, and that also helps you defensively. Less chances for your opponents to run off a turnover. Ranking number one in steals. This team gets after on the defensive end. They aren't afraid to take chances and go for opportunities to take the ball when they see them. Right side, Garland. Inside, here's Mobley. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And Indiana called to the foul. Throw good. Mobley. For Indiana, they've gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. Pass to Toppin. And here's Siakam. Now McConnell. He's coming off a 10-point game against Miami. And Neesmith gets it to go. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples. They sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. And finished off by Garland. A strong take from Garland. Showing no mercy to the rim there. McConnell with a screen on Mitchell. Here's Halliburton. Mobley grabs the board. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Pass to Garland. Launches it. Hits a three-pointer. And now a six-point Cavalier lead. Yeah, you know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. Siakam, pass to Halliburton. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. <laughs> Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Garland, no good. Well, we got a close game here in Cleveland. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Pass to Toppin. Back to McConnell. Six to shoot. Takes a 13-footer. And he knocks the jumper down. McConnell's got his second bucket of the night. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Garland with a screen on Halliburton. On the wing, Mitchell. He's marked by McConnell. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got 16 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 16. Fires for three. Second shot opportunity. Allen can't get it to go. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. And Siakam with the slam. Your certain nights, Siakam takes over. He's been aggressive here from the tip. Halliburton against Mitchell. Garland with a screen on Halliburton. Here's Mitchell. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. Mitchell's got eight here in this quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Pass to Neesmith. Nice 
McConnell from outside is rebounded by a coral. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Halliburton outside. Now here's Siakam. Allen defending. Siakam, the pass to Halliburton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one's on Darius Garland. And when you watch Halliburton run point, he makes life easy for his team. You know, he's like a Pied Piper. He's a guy that other people gravitate to and enjoy playing with. Always has his head up. He's excellent at reading angles and situations and using the right pass at the right time and rarely seems to force shots. I mean, that's the quintessential playmaking point guard if ever there was one. And he drops a first. Halliburton is just one of those young guys that has a really well-rounded game. Makes shots pretty much from anywhere on the floor. Merrill, he's checked in for Mitchell. The Pacers also with a sub. Smith, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. And both free throws good for Halliburton. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Here's Allen. Pass to Garland. Back to Allen. There's the triple. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. Nimhart, he's checked in for Indiana. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Neesmith. Back to McConnell. There's a minute 12 left in the first half. Toppin outside from behind the arc. Offensive rebound. Smith. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. First one falls for him. A solid defender and rebounder. I'm really impressed with Smith's growth thus far. Both good from the line that time. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 55 seconds left in the second. And it's Allen who slams it home. Allen's got some old school big man in him. He's got great hands and mobility and does a good job finishing above the rim. Nimhard, the pass to Toppin. Now Smith. Here's Nimhart. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Here's Merrill. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Detroit. Pass to Garland. Shot from 16. Another score. His fifth make out of 10 tries. And for the Pacers, their shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Here's Nimhart. He's got nine. Here's Smith. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. 
That's a great pick and roll. Smith ending up with the hoop. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Cavaliers on top, leading by a point. Well, now we have some time. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Thanks for joining us. And first off, let's take a look at the Players of the Week. The selection for the Western Conference, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Little love going to Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Just another big-time talent hailing from Canada. Has great length for his position. Creates matchup nightmares the way I did, the way Kitty sometimes did. Not really. I just said that to make him look good. And next up, Let's take a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, who seem pretty well-matched in their game. The way they've attacked the lane, oh my God, it's almost Shaq-like. They've been DPR, Shaq. Decisive, physical, and relentless. I think that just brought a tear to my eye, Kenny. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And a lot of size for him, with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. And it's Okoro in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Mitchell against Heald. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Back to Mitchell. Five to shoot. Allen with a screen on Heald. Garland for three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got four rebounds now. Pass to Halliburton. Turner, a screen on Garland. Halliburton, the pass to Matherin. That would have put him up. The Cavaliers leading. Outside Garland. Mobley outside. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Okoro. This one for three. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. He's showing off the floor awareness right there. I love whenever Mitchell looks to share the wealth. Halliburton for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Listen, Indiana is not a free agent hotspot, but you asked Tyrese Halliburton, it's a great place to play. He said, quote, Midwest nice is a real thing. The genuineness of the people, the way they act. I really value people waving as you walk by or smiling. That matters to me. That small town feel, that Midwest feel. Brian? Yeah, he seems right at home, Allie. Thank you. Mobley and screen on Halliburton. Here's Mitchell. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Halliburton. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Boy, his offense just hasn't been there. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. The three from Mitchell. And the Cavaliers, another three. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Indiana has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Turner to halt the run. Gets the three to fall. Turner's got nine. Well, in the way the game is played in this day and age, it really is beneficial to have a big man who can stroke it from deep. And Turner is definitely of that ilk. Outside Garland. Rebounded by Halliburton. The Pacers have gone only one for six here in the second half. 
and stolen by Mobley. Who poked away. Halliburton with the ball. Now guarded by Mobley. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Three-pointer, Halliburton. He buries it from three. And now just a three-point Cleveland lead. One this half, two for the game. Stay active from beyond the arc. Pass to Okoro. Healed against Garland. Over heel. And Garland with the basket on the assist by Okoro. 16 points for him. And I know this isn't the shot Garland wanted, but just goes to show how easily he can adapt. For three, Matherin. And again, it's Indiana with a three. The defense trying to take other things away, so he steps up and buries the triple. Cleveland calls timeout. All right, let's give a nod to defense now with a list of the teams leading the league in steals this month. Number one, the Pacers. They've really gotten after it at the defensive end, and that's been generating turnovers. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. They've led by as much as 10. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Mitchell's got 25 points in the game. And they've really managed to dominate inside. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Halliburton against Garland. The three. Halliburton misses. The Cavaliers have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Mitchell finds Garland. Back to Mobley. Here's Mitchell. Mobley outside. Let's it go from deep. Pacers with a rebound. Halliburton's got four rebounds now. Pass to Siakam. Over a Coro. Siakam, no good. Cleveland has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Heald passes to Halliburton. Beyond the arc. The Pacers again can't hit. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Shot from 12, and the jumper falls for him. Halliburton's got 12 points. That's one of the things his coaches have encouraged him to do. Look for the mid-range jumper, Tyrese. Way to knock it down. Matherin against Garland. Outside Mitchell. Fires for three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Siakam. And he drives in. And then Siakam with the jam. Driving in, Siakam can be such a menace for the defense. Hard to get in the way of his physicality. Garland with a screen on heel. Puts it up from 15. It's rebounded by Indiana. Matherin passes to Halliburton. Pass to Siakam for the tie. He's rebounded by Okoro. Okoro's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. Here's Mobley. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got seven rebounds in the game. And here's Halliburton. Pass to Siakam. Over a Coro. And there's Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from Halliburton. Halliburton's got eight assists in the game. The Cavaliers have gone six of 13 to open up this second half. Garland with a screen on heel. Outside Garland. Garland. 
Back to Mitchell. Just five to shoot. The three from Okoro. The rebound by Turner. Indiana trailing here. Halliburton outside. Siakam with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Halliburton against Garland. Tyrese playing big in the painted area. Really good to see Turner find the open man, proving once again he's a team first guy. Cleveland has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Halliburton against Garland. Inside to snap the cold streak. It counts! And the foul! And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Cavaliers. They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. You know, the defense has given them that shot, and they've knocked it down consistently, and that's been a real key factor for them tonight. The Cavaliers making a switch here. The Verge checked in. Nimhart to pass to Matherin. McConnell with it. Down low. Tipped. Allen against Toppin. The shot by Levert, no good. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for Indiana. And a slam dunk by Toppin. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Left side, Mitchell. Locked. They retain possession. They get it back. Garland, no good. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Back to McConnell. And rejected. Super recognition that time to come up with the block shot as Levert was quick to recognize where he was and get off the ground. Five on the clock. Here's Nimhart. Hits the trifecta. Nimhart's got 12 points in the game. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Garland with a screen on Matherin. Levert outside. Allen outside. Here's Garland. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Garland against McConnell. To the inside. Here's Nimhart. Yes, and it's McConnell with the assist that time. He's got 14. You know, in that first half, a lot more three-point shooting. Since then, though, they've dialed it back. And here's Mitchell. He's got 25. Out to Garland. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. Garland's got 21 points in the game. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. McConnell with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Pass to Matherin. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Yeah, Matherin wanted this bad. He wants to one-up them at the arc. The Cavs trailing. And the Cavaliers call time here. You know, he could see his squad was losing momentum, losing steam. Smart timeout to let them catch their breath and reset. A different look for Cleveland. Wade, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Niang comes in for a quarter. And it's Struess in for Donovan Mitchell.
We've got 108 left in the third. And there's the screen. Spins. Garland with the ball. And it's McConnell picking him up to the paint. And there's a three-second violation. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Buddy Heald. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. The Pacers making a switch here. Turner's checked in. And it's Indiana's ball. They're on an 18-7 run. 13 feet out. It's rebounded by Wade. Cleveland has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Levert passes to Garland. Here's Wade. All alone. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to McConnell. Now here's Turner. And McConnell the bucket on the assist by Turner. Turner's got five assists tonight. Turner's showing improvement as a passer, and the more he looks to distribute the ball, the better his team is. Now here's Garland. 21 points in the game. The three ball. Here's Wade. Counted from distance. Wade's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. The Pacers out in front, leading by three. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Rick Carlisle had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Hey, hey, it's all about physical. It's all about physical. Make sure we're running back. Touch somebody. Touch well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And Indiana looking at who they've got. Toppin at the four and Turner at the five. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Nimhard in at the two. The shot by Levert, no good. Indiana leading. Here's Toppin. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. There is no doubt what's going to happen once he reaches the rim. Levert goes against Halliburton. Levert with the ball. Here he goes. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Levert. Very confident. He's an amazing athlete and can put the ball on the floor and attack on the drive with the best of them. Pass to Halliburton. 4-3. And it's Niang with the rebound. You know, he's just chucking it up from distance this quarter. If you're going to do this, especially in the second half, you better make him. Levert with the ball. Turner covering. The three from Mitchell. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Toppin's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Nimhart. Pass to Halliburton. Launches the three. Drops in the three. Halliburton's got ten points in just the second half. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, fire three of your own. Boom. Pass to Nimhart. Top of the screen on Mitchell to the middle. Unloads. Again, the Pacers. Good for two more. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Levert goes against Halliburton. The three from Mitchell. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Pass to Halliburton. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. They get it back. Turner. 
from down in the low post. It goes. And it's a seven-point pacer lead. That's all about the ticker for Turner. Big heart, a real juggernaut on the board who uses those long arms exceedingly well to get second-chance opportunities. And it's Mitchell, the miss. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Here's Halliburton. Off target from the baseline. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Levert passes to Niang. And he nails that one right through the heart. Boy, Levert showing you his unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open, he loves getting you the ball. Pass to Turner. And here's Toppin. Here's Halliburton. Halliburton goes up top to throw it down. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Pass to Nimhart. The three. It's rebounded by Wade. Man, that's his shot. But <laughs> maybe he was too wide open. Levert outside. Outside Mitchell. There's the triple. The rebound by Nimhard. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Let's go with a three. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Here's the three. Again, the miss by Mitchell. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. Pass to Nimhart. From deep. It's rebounded by Wade. Wade's got four rebounds now. Here's Mitchell. Levert outside. They set the pick. Now here's Nia. Shot clock at five. Fires from deep. The shot by Levert, no good. Heel finds Halliburton. Takes the three, and it's Heel that time on the assist by Halliburton. And the Pacers lead by 13. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Outside Mitchell. Will it go? Rebounded by Heald. Heald's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Nimhart. Halliburton right side. And here's Toppin. Launches it. And again! It's the Pacers from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Halliburton against Levert. The three from Mitchell. From outside, Mitchell is good. The answer from Mitchell. A three of his own. Here's Nimhart. Checked by Mitchell. Nimhart, the pass to Turner. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And able to impact the game at both ends is Miles Turner-Clark. You know, I like the fact that he's dangerous on offense, but more importantly, he's led the league multiple seasons in block shots. And he does not take time off at the defensive end of the floor. No good on the free throw. And, you know, because Turner is such a good free throw shooter for his position, defenses really can't send him to the line too often. He'll make them pay. Siakam, he's checked in for Indiana. Matherin comes in for Heald. Good on the second one. Now Mitchell doing his part offensively. Nearing 30 points in this one. He's been so tough to contain. Allen on the wing. Back to Mitchell. The Pacers pull it in. Siakam's got rebound number five here tonight. 
They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Pass to Nimhart. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got seven rebounds in the game. Outside Mitchell. Back to Mobley. Over Siakam. And a nice play by Evan Mobley as he scores. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Halliburton looking for an opening. Allen brings a double team. Halliburton finds Matherin. Misses the three. And Mobley has got the ball here for Cleveland. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Here's Mobley, defended by Halliburton. And Garland gets doubled. The three from Mitchell. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got eight assists here tonight. Here's Nimhart. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Toppin. He's checked in for Turner. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. And despite the lead, they are still coaching this team hard. In the huddle, they told their guys to stay alert. Do not give them anything easy. They want to protect this late lead, VA. Allie, thank you. Toppin passes to Siakam. Shoots over Mobley. Siakam, no good. The Cavs trailing. Outside Garland. Excellent D there from Siakam. The Pacers have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Pass to Nimhart for three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got three assists now in this one. Garland against Halliburton. Here's Okoro. Three-pointer. And Toppin pulls it down. And here's Halliburton. Covered by Mobley. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Shoots over Halliburton. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got four points this quarter. I'll tell you, when he rises up to shoot and with his height advantage, oh, he knows he's going to get a clean look. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellows who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. The Cavaliers shooting just 37% since the fourth quarter got started. Outside Garland. Okoro on the wing. Mobley outside from the arc. The Pacers pull it in. Halliburton outside. Throws it up high. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Just flawless timing right there. Right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Locks him up and hauls it in. Love the high activity level. Toppin finds Halliburton. Now here's Matherin. Here's Nimhart. Allen brings a double team down low. It's tipped. Let's it fly. That one rolls around and rims out. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Allen a screen. The three from Mitchell. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Indiana. Well, you know, throughout this game, 
They've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And you have to talk about the passing, too. I mean, the ball has been zipping around on the offense, and they've kept the extra pass mentality the whole way. That free throw is good for Mitchell. You know, I've got two words to describe Donovan Mitchell. Dynamic score. You put this man in just about any situation, and he'll find a shot no matter what. Halliburton on the wing, guarded by Garland. Outside Matherin, just five on the clock. Puts up a deep three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Big Jared Allen outshining the bright lights. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're on top by six. 103 left in the final quarter. One oh three left in the fourth quarter here. Halliburton against Garland. Top of the screen on Garland. Here's Halliburton on the money from 12 feet away. And the Pacers lead by eight. Really smooth looking jumper there by Halliburton. Making the most of that opportunity to score the ball. Cleveland calls timeout. They're down by eight. 52 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter here. The three from Okoro. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead at just five. This is something Mitchell is only getting better at. Finding ways to get his guys good shots. And they go to the intentional foul. Forty-three seconds left in the game. Halliburton, the pass to Toppin. Back to Halliburton. And so they foul intentionally. He hits the first one. And that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good. And it's a seven-point game. That's exactly how to close out a game. Take advantage of every opportunity. Mitchell, the pass to Okoro. Outside Garland. There's the three. Matherin with a rebound. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. At one point, they led by 16. Outside heel. And so it's Indiana winning this one. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long and good night, everyone.